Bitcoin's breakout is imminent, but our long and short positions are prepared. You will find out what move can we expect on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Welcome to daily crypto technical analysis. We are going to do daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and price section. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 60 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. On the 4 hourly time frame, you can see that Bitcoin is developing this bearish pattern like you can see right here. If this pattern will actually play out, we can expect break off of this triangle to the downside. I'm going to tell you exactly what target I'm expecting and where is the best place to enter a short position because right now we actually move our entries on shorts and on longs because we made a higher low and also a lower high. On the 30 minute time frame, we can see that Bitcoin is still moving in this triangle. But what is different right now from yesterday? We are making higher lows and also lower highs. Because of that, I moved my entry pretty much right here. I'm going to tell you exactly where is my entry and also where should be your stop loss and your target. If you look on the Bollinger Bands indicator, you can also see that on the 4 hour time frame, Bollinger Bands are coming very much together. This is a sign that we can expect a major move to the upside or to the downside. We pretty much have the same thing on the 3 hourly time frame. Bollinger Bands are coming together, that means that they are getting squeezed and we can expect a very big move to the upside or to the downside. On the MACD indicator, you can also see on the hourly time frame, we are having this triangle, as you can see right there. This means that also MACD indicator is confirming us a breakout. We of course don't know if we are going to go up or down because we pretty much have right now 50-50 chance that we will go up or down. But in my opinion, because we have more bearish signs, we will actually go to the downside. Like I showed you before, on the 4 hourly time frame, we have this bearish pattern and also I will show you some more bearish signs on Bitcoin right now. If you enter a short position on Bitcoin, your short position will look something like this. If we go with a short position, let me go on an hourly time frame. You will see because we made a higher low, this should be right now your entry. Your short position should be entered below this low that we have right there. So at around 10,800 US dollars. This would be your entry for your short position. Of course, like I said in my yesterday's live stream, I usually set my stop loss first before I actually do my target. So I will go on the two hourly time frame because I also want my stop loss to be protected with at least one exponential moving average. And currently on the two hourly time frame, we have our 50 exponential moving average, this red one, which is pretty much protecting us if we will go down and if we will bounce back up, this would be our resistance. And because of that, our stop loss will be protected. So because of that, I would set my stop loss a little above 50 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame. This is my stop loss. So what should be our target? If we go on an hourly time frame and if we apply CPR levels to our chart, you will see our CPR level is pretty much at 10,650 US dollars. This would be my first target, but of course you don't want to set your target to exactly CPR level. I would set it a little above because it doesn't mean that we will actually go exactly to the CPR level and then bounce back up, for example. That means that we can pretty much stop, for example, right here and continue our way to the upside or to the downside. Because of that, I usually set my targets a little above or a little below. It depends, of course, if we are in a short or in a long position. So this would be my first target on Bitcoin. What should be our second target? My second target would be 10,500 US dollars, which is pretty much right here. And then, of course, if we will continue our way to the downside, then I will start looking to enter new short positions. But right now, uh, like you can see here, this would be my uh, first target CPR level and second target our support level at 10,500 US dollars. Also, what is our right now bearish is that on the four hour time frame on free version of market cipher, we are having this trigger wave as you can see right there. And on the three hour time frame, you can also see pretty much the same thing trigger wave and also the trigger wave money flow started coming to the downside because of that. This is also a bearish sign and I'm expecting a push to the downside. Also here we have trigger waves. This is in my opinion more bearish than bullish, but of course if you look at the pattern this means that we can break or to the upside 
or to the downside. If we right now look at the past on the three hourly time frame, you will see this pattern on the market cipher. Money flow started coming to the upside and those waves were getting smaller and smaller, but they went up as you can see. Right now we have, in my opinion, pretty much the same situation. Money flow started coming to the downside, waves are getting smaller and smaller. Previously we actually went up as you can see right here, but right now we have pretty much the inverse pattern right now and we can go pretty much downside this is bearish indication on market cipher right now pretty much the same on the two hourly time frame as you can see those waves are getting smaller and smaller money flow started coming to the downside also here in the past as you can see here we have pretty much inverse picture and we went up right now like i said i'm expecting a move to the downside because in my opinion right now is a higher probability we will actually go to the downside on the daily time frame you can also see that we web as you can see right there this yellow line here is coming to the zero line that means that we can actually get a cross and we will get a red dot on the market cipher indicator on the normal version of wave trend indicator we pretty much have the same thing on the two hourly time frame waves are getting smaller and smaller here we went up in my opinion right now we can go down because of this pattern that we are having on the wave trend indicator so on the Echner Stochastic CG Oscillator, on the other hand, on a daily time frame, you can also see that we actually formed a red one here. As you can see, this means right now that we have some bearish momentum in the market. And like I said, I'm expecting that there is a higher probability we will actually go to the downside on the Bitcoin price right now. But because of this triangle, if you purely look at this triangle right now, you will see that there is, like I said, 50-50 chance in what direction we are going to break. So if we break to the upside, where is the best idea to set your long position? So you should set it above the high that we are having right here. Yesterday I said set it above this high, but right now we made a lower high. And because of that, you need to set your long position above this high. So if we go with a long position, I would set it at around 10,990 US dollars or something around this. And your stop loss, like I said, it's good to be protected with at least one exponential moving average. For example, here you can see that we have 50 exponential moving average and also 18 exponential moving average on an hourly time frame. If we go on the two hourly, we also have 18 exponential moving average right here. So this would be my stop loss. But what should be our target right now? As you can see, if we look at our chart, you will see that right here we don't have any much resistances. And because of that, if we break to the upside, we could easily hit 11,200 and around 50 US dollars. This could be our target, but what I would do in this situation right now, because our target is pretty far away, 2.37%, I would actually take some profits at the two to one risk to reward ratio. That means I would took some profits at around 11,150 US dollars and then also take some profit at around 11,200 US dollars because like I said, you need to set your target a little below the resistance because sometimes you can actually get rejected a little bit earlier and then continue your way to the downside because of that set your target a little bit below the resistance level. This is for my long position. Also, what is right now looking a little bit bullish, if you look at the RSI indicator, you will see that we are moving in this channel and this channel currently looks bullish, but of course we need to break to the upside to confirm that we will actually move to the upside. But first of all, before RSI will actually go to the upside, if we are going to break to the upside, of course, uh, I think that Bitcoin price can actually do this a little bit earlier. So I would pretty much look at the price and then of course enter the long or a short position. Set a conditional order on Bybit exchange and that way you will not miss on the long or a short opportunity right now. So guys, if you are not already leverage trading Bitcoin and Ethereum on Bybit leverage trading platform i have down below links where you can sign up and get up to 90 dollars for free in trading bonus so you can start trading without losing your own money right now let's look at ethereum and on the ethereum i said yesterday that i entered a long position on the bullish pin bar that we had but this position actually got closed and currently i'm in no positions currently on the yesterday's live stream, I also said that maybe we can actually bounce off of the 200 exponential moving averages you can see right there. And also, why was I expecting this? Because we have a support with the 200 exponential moving average on the two hourly time frame. Also, on the three hourly time frame, we have a 50 exponential moving average, and they are currently acting as our support level. I also said that I'm expecting a little retracement to the upside. If you look at this last drop that we have, we pretty much had the retracement to 0.618 Fibonacci level, but I'm currently not in a short position. Why? Because we still don't have a cross on the 18 exponential moving average and on the 50 exponential moving average. That means that the overall average trend 
on the hourly time frame is still not down but of course as you can see maybe a cross will come but on ethereum right now currently we can see two situations that can be formed so what can happen right now this was a high here we made a low a lower high a lower low a lower high and also right now it looks like this could be a higher low that means that right now on ethereum we can see a triangle also like we do on bitcoin because of that we have a 50 50 chance we are going up or down but if we will actually make a lower low if this will actually continue the way to the downside or maybe retest 200 exponential moving average that means we will make a lower low and also lower high what you need to do because then most likely we will also have the cross on the exponential moving averages then all you have to do measure with the fib retracement from the top to the bottom and of course if we right now drop to 200 exponential moving average you could then enter at 0.618 fibonacci level we will have a cross bearish trend and you could enter a short position but if we won't make a lower low that means that we will make a higher low as you can see right there it looks like we will actually make a higher low that means we will have a triangle something like this and that means we of course don't know if we are going to break to the upside or to the downside i'm going to tell you exactly what is in my opinion the best time to enter a long or a short position on ethereum but before we do that i would also like to look at the free version of market cipher because here it also looks bearish because money flow as you can see it actually went to the zero line and it looks like we can actually get into the red this is looking bearish on the two hourly time frame on the free version of market cipher also on the hourly time frame on the rsi indicator we can spot the triangle which is something like this and because of that like i said the breakout to the upside or to the downside is imminent on bitcoin and also on ethereum right now on the hourly time frame like i said exponential moving averages are coming together that means that we are entering a short-term downtrend on an hourly time frame of course but if you want to confirm we can also look at the four hourly time frame and 18 exponential moving average is currently pretty much flat so we cannot really consider this one as the downtrend but maybe we will have a cross on an hourly time frame if you are trading with the trend you should be looking to enter a short position but of course if you would like to trade with the trend lower low needs to be formed but right now like i said it looks like we will actually make a triangle so if we make a triangle i will tell you exactly where is the best time to enter if we make a triangle on the hourly time frame right now your long position should be above the high that you have right here so around 385 us dollars your stop loss needs to be backed up at least with one exponential moving average so we have our 50 exponential moving average and also 18 exponential moving average on the two hourly we also have 18 exponential moving average so this would be right now in my opinion the valid stop loss that we could do so what should be your target if we apply cpr levels you will see in fact weekly cpr levels of course you will see that our target could be our resistance one so up here it's a valid risk to reward ratio as you can see more than two to one risk to reward ratio of course your target should be a little bit lower maybe you could actually target this high that we had right there and this would be your first target your second target should be in my opinion 400 us dollars on ethereum as you can see this would be also 3 to 1 risk to reward ratio which would be pretty much amazing which could be a very nice trade if we actually break to the upside on ethereum but guys if we actually drop down like i said on bitcoin we have in my opinion higher probability we will actually go down because of that if we will go down on bitcoin we can also go down on ethereum so if we will actually go down right now if we will make a higher low it looks like that we will actually make a higher low we should enter a short position below the low right there so i would set it pretty much below 200 exponential moving average somewhere around this your stop loss like i said needs to be backed up with the exponential moving average which would be backed up with the 50 exponential moving average right now and your target could actually be this support level that we have at 363 us dollars second target could be this one this is also a very nice risk to reward ratio even better than on the long trade as you can see five to one here we have three to one and this is also a very nice trade if you look on hard time frames also as you can see we are backed up with the 200 exponential moving average maybe the stop loss could be actually a little bit higher to make sure we don't get wicked out of the trade and this is a short position if this triangle will actually break to the downside of course if we don't bounce here if we make a lower low you need to measure from the high to the low then and enter at 0.5 or 0.618 fibonacci level depends on where is the bullish candlestick pattern being formed so if you haven't already please do smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 60 likes on this video 
if you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I am uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos. Right now, you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you all guys for watching and peace out.